So what I thought I'd do for today's video is give you my thoughts and reasons why I think Stockport County will achieve the playoffs in the upcoming 2022-23 League 2 season. Now if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you drop a like on it. 70 likes would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Let's waste no further time and get straight on with today's video. So starting out then with last season. And obviously Stockport were in the National League they finished first in the end after 44 matches they won 30 drawing 4 losing 10 scoring 87 but only conceding 38 leaving them on a positive 49 goal difference and finishing on 94 points only 6 away from 3 digits they had an absolutely incredible season last year their last 5 games are a win a win a loss a win and a loss I think last season Stockport were just simply were always really going to win the league they were always just that little bit too good for teams like Wrexham or Sully Hill, obviously. Grimsby Town did join them in getting promoted through the playoffs and they will be playing League 2 football next season. So this year, for the upcoming season, I'm confident Stockport will be able to at least achieve the playoffs. I'm not too sure about automatic promotion. I know a lot of people seem to think they definitely will do back-to-back. -back. As of right now, not too sure that they will do that. I will give you my thoughts on that. I just think they're lacking in some quality in depth, especially in the attacking area. But like I said, we'll go into a bit more detail in that later on in today's video. If we start with their transfers then, for this upcoming season they have brought in quite a few players they brought in Joel Lewis a centre half from Torquay for a fee believed to be around £45,000 Callum Camps on a free transfer from Fleetwood Town is a brilliant signing striker Kyle Wotton as well on a free transfer from Notts County I know he did very well with Notts County last season but he's still fairly unproven in the EFL I think Akil Wright from York City at the age of 26 I think he's a central midfielder to get him on the free transfer as well I think he's another absolutely fantastic piece of business by Stockport and also, Fraser Horsfall, 25-year-old at centre-half as part of Northampton's incredible season last year. Got him in on a free transfer as well. I think that is another great piece of business. They've also brought in Connor Lemonhay Evans on a free transfer from Torquay. Attacking midfielder, according to Transfer Max. Don't know too much about him, but Torquay fans seem to rate him, so I think that is another very good signing. And they've also brought in a goalkeeper on loan from Liverpool, uh, from Liverpool's under-23s, Vitislav Jaros. Probably absolutely butchered that name. They've had a few players, obviously, the part of the club as well. Some players who they probably just didn't think were going to be good enough for the upcoming season and you know they've got them out the door players like Ben Barkley gone out on loan to Carlisle Liam Logan left the club he went to Oldham Tom Walker's gone to Fylde you know the list could probably go on in terms of not just their new signings that some of the quality players that they had at last season Ash Palmer centre half I think he's a very good player at this level Macaulay Southam Hills as well be interested to see how he does get on at this level Anthony Sarsovic is league one standard midfielder for me I'm not too sure how well he's been doing with Stockport but when he was with Bolton and Plymouth, I know he was absolutely fantastic there. Ben Whitfield, from his time at Torquay as well, he was actually linked with my team, Bradford City. I think he is a good player. Obviously, Ollie Crankshaw as well, former Bradford City man. I know he's not been playing all too much because he doesn't really fit into the system, but I rated Ollie Crankshaw. Paddy Madden, I mean, do I need to say much about him? That man scores goals at pretty much most levels in the EFL. Probably apart from the championship, that man is at least going to get you double figures every single season. Scott Quigley as well, but it looks like he'll be moving on. It looks like he'll be joining Morecambe in League One for an undisclosed fee, which I think is an interesting one. I think he scored nine goals last season for Stockport, which isn't the most amount in in the world but the main source of their goals last season was through Paddy Madden he scored 24 goals in the end and that is a little bit of a concern for me why I don't think that they will be able to achieve automatic promotion if he gets a couple injuries or if he gets one longer term injury I really do think they are going to struggle because say quickly does move on to Markham or another club that only really leaves them with Kyle Wotton who like I said he's fairly unproven at this level I think if they can keep Paddy Madden fit for a full season they probably do really have a good shout of becoming a team challenging for the automatic promotion spots but because the I wouldn't say over relied on him but you know he was a big factor and a big part of their success last season I think he was taking penalties as well so might hinder his statistics a little bit but I think 24 goals if he gets you know a few injuries next season I think that they could struggle which you would expect from most teams but especially a team like Stockport coming up from the National League in terms of their assists as well last season I mean BBC Sport doesn't really give you too much information because apparently they only got five assists last season throughout the whole squad which I don't really believe so we're going to move 
move on from the assists, if we have a look at their attendance as well last season, I think it was one of the better ones in the National League. The average at 7,126, which was the second highest in the league, only just behind Wrexham. In terms of capacity filled, they were second in the league as well. Eastleigh were first with 85%, but they only averaged 2,500 fans. Stockport last season averaged 7,126, like I said, and averaged at 65.8%. Capacity filled percentage, if that makes sense. I also think Dave Shalliner is a good manager at this level. Obviously, he did a very good job with Hartlepool, getting them promoted back into the Football League. He did a fantastic job last season. You know, he's doing fairly decent with Hartlepool. He then obviously left the club to join Stockport, where he just took them from the, to the next level, to be honest with you. I remember watching them in that game away at Bolton, where they did draw 2-2 in, I think it was the first round of the FA Cup. You know, so Stockport took like 5,000, I think it was, something crazy like that, to Bolton, and... You it was a very even game. You know, I do really rate Bolton as a side. They'll definitely be challenging for the top six next season in League One. And Stockport more than matched them, especially in that first half. I thought Stockport really did show their class. And they have got some very good plays. If you can keep some of their key players fit for the whole season, I have no doubt that they will be in the top seven next season. If we go into Stockport signings in a little bit more detail, if we start out with Callum Camps, obviously the last few seasons, he has been with Fleetwood Town. He was previously with Rochdale for pretty much the whole of his career. Then obviously did join Fleetwood. Last season, he played 31 times for Fleetwood in the league, scoring three goals and getting six assists in the league above what he will be playing in this season. I do think it is an absolutely fantastic recruit for this level. He scored 40 in goals with nine assists in eight one appearances for Fleetwood, and he scored 30 goals in 23 appearances for Rochdale as well. I believe both in League One for the majority of it. I don't think he has ever played in League Two before, apart from in that 12-13 season and 13-14 season where he only played two games. That was right at the start of his career. You know, he played 38 minutes in them two seasons. So this is only real first time he will be playing in League Two. And I think he is one of the best number 10s in the league. If he can, Dave Shawner can get the best out of Callum Camps. He can easily get double digits in both goals and assists next season. Depending on where you play him, if you play him as a number eight, he might struggle to do that. But if you play him as a number 10 and give him that creative freedom, I really do think he could do wonders next season at four Stockport. Kyle Wooten as well. You know, I, I know I've previously said that he is fairly unproven in the AFL. And I do probably stand by that in the past few seasons. He has obviously been with Notts County. Last season, he scored 19 goals in 43 appearances. Then the season before that, he scored 15 goals in 42. And then in the 19-20 season, he scored 13 goals in 31. So he's a fairly proven goal scorer at League uh, at the National League level, sorry, there is rumours that he's on £5,000 a week at Stockport, which is a fairly hefty chunk. In the 18-19 season, he played in League One for Scunthorpe United, where he scored six goals in 26 appearances. And apart from that, hasn't really played that consistently, to be honest with you, throughout his whole career. So this is his chance now. If Paddy Madden does get that injury that I was alluding to, which I don't think he's necessarily injury prone, but as always in football, you can't write anything off. If Paddy Madden does get that injury that could potentially come, Kyle Wotton will then have his chance to prove himself as an EFL goal scorer. And hopefully, for Stockport's sake, he can do that and fire them into the playoffs. But there you have it. They are my reasons why I think Stockport County will achieve the playoffs for the upcoming 2022-23 League 2 season. If you disagree or agree, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Where do you think Stockport County will finish for the upcoming season? If you have enjoyed watching today's video, make sure you drop a like on it. 70 likes, as always, would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well we are now closing in on 6,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already it's free to do so and it does massively help out shout out to our current tier 2 channel member Dylan Broadhead and our current tier 3 channel member B Davies 211 thank you very much for watching today's video have a great rest of your day and I shall see you all tomorrow at 4 o'clock for another video peace